In South Florida today, the first funerals are now being held for the victims of Wednesday's school shooting that took the lives of 17 people. This as the FBI admits it failed to follow up on a tip warning about the gunman just last June or last month. Wendy Woolfolk has the latest. Stoneman Douglas High School, still a crime scene amid shocking revelations from the FBI. The agency acknowledging just last month a person close to Nicholas Cruz called the public access tip line to warn about the now accused killer. In a statement, the FBI says, quote, the caller provided information about Cruz's gun ownership, desire to kill people, erratic behavior, and disturbing social media posts, as well as the potential of him conducting a school shooting. The FBI has determined that protocol was not followed. The information was not provided to the Miami field office and no further investigation was conducted at that time. But the FBI's admission and quote deep regret, very little consolation as mourners begin to pay their respects at the first of 17 funerals. A tragedy and a devastation that has stolen our innocence. Parents should not have to say goodbye to their 14 year old daughter, Alyssa an avid soccer player who loved to write. Live for Alyssa. Reach your goals for Alyssa. Because you are her voice now. A mother's heartbreaking challenge for those who survived. You know, you're sad and depressed at one point. You're angry at another point. You're just hopeless. You're stressed. You're, it's just ups and downs and hitting you in waves. It's hard to process. Waves of such painful emotions as the initial shock turns into a blanket of grief on this community and nation.